What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy Beehive Radio. Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. The original hot boy himself, Won't Mr. Not. YNT Turk. What up, though? I'm young and thugging, but I'm grown up. I strictly have lava. Yeah, y'all already know what's going Ooh. on. Man. Stand down, man. I don't hey. got a circle. I got a dot. <laughs> you hear me? Hey, Turk, you know we got to kick this thing up with uh, the original trending topics like we always do. But, uh, Real? The hot boys are trending again, you know. Always. And we always got to talk about the hot boy news. But this always. time, uh, in walks Manny Fresh. Shout okay. out to my old, well, not my OG, my big brother, like he say, you feel me? Come on now. Yeah. You know, Manny and Juve done went on a press run up there in New York big having a business, you know, because they've been touring the world, you know, getting to the bag as always. Back that ass up too. You know, yep. Manny addressed a lot of things that, you know, you been catching hell for, sir. Yeah. Uh, one of the things was the watches. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, what were your thoughts when you heard what Manny Fresh had to say about I'm, everything? I'm, I'm glad that um, Fresh came to, like, give clarity, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because, bro, like, the whole time, man, I got love for my family. Them dudes opened up doors that, you know what I'm saying, no other could have opened up for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but love. For baby and slim, and I, I, don't, I, I can't express it enough. Well, no, no, people... let me cut y'all. Let me be one of the fans in the comments. <laughs> Why you keep on saying you got love for because... folks when everybody being mean to you? What's going because, on look, here? Bro, I still got them nigga name tattooed in my chest. Okay, like you yeah. don't understand. Like them niggas gave me a chance, gave me an opportunity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So fuck what somebody be saying if they don't understand it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm and with that's you. just what it is, bro. Like you know, um. But it it, it, it kind of be disappointing when, you know, I don't get that reciprocation back. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. then it's like, nigga, you're a damn fool. You constantly showing nigga love and nigga shitting on you. Yeah. But I don't look at it as a nigga shitting on me. You feel me? I just look at it as just a misunderstanding. And sometimes the devil be overworking. You feel me? And um, I just believe that everything is going to come together like... From the start, bro, I've been representing this hot boy shit since I came out of the penitentiary. I never changed hot boy Turk, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I always stay connected with the fans. And the fans always was asking me, even during my bid, is you going to do a hot boy this? Are you going to do a hot mm -hmm. boy that? So, you know what I'm saying? I always knew what the fans wanted. And there was some people who were stands like, man, you need to leave that shit alone, man. You the only one still representing the hot boys mm -hmm. and this, this, that. You know what I'm saying? But... I, like I say, bro, I just seen a vision and I believe and I still believe even with everything going on, it's going to work mm -hmm. itself out. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I know about all of us. You mm -hmm. feel me? We always been getting into it and having a misunderstanding with each other, dog. It'll go days when, you know what I'm saying, he might be mad, she might be mad, they might be mad, and then when we come together, it's like we ain't mad no more, so it's a real relationship. You're like, we a real brotherhood, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, bro. So when Fresh spoke about what he spoke about, I was happy that he gave clarity, you know, because people misunderstood what I was saying because they didn't play the whole thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I never did say that, you know, what people were saying that I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, talk, I took it back to where it first started. Everybody got a first start yeah. to where it wind up being, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And they didn't play where it wind up being that. They mm. just played, oh, he said this, and they left it there. And that's what, you know, haters do. Yeah. That's why they hate keepers. They keep up the hate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, man, shout out to um, Fresh, bro, because evidently, you know, Fresh heard the whole thing, and he understood what I was saying. Yeah. And I appreciate him for that. You know what I'm talking about? You know, one of the other things that struck me that I heard Manny say is that, you know, he feel like it's the fourth quarter. And, you know, these opportunities for groups to be able to reunite and tour the world and make millions together, they're not out there for everybody, no, you know. No. So for it to be 20, 30 years later and that to be the case for the hot boys and the big timers, yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that? That's man? a blessing, man. That's a blessing. Because you got to think, bro, I did time, BG did time, mm. and it's still around. You know what I'm saying? And the whole time, I don't know how it was for BG, but I know how it was for me. 
I couldn't get around, bro. When you get out, you gonna do this? Yeah. And I've been home 12 years. It's still, bro, when y'all gonna do this? Yeah. So that's 12 plus 8. That's 20 years. You know what I'm saying? They still saying, when you gonna do this? So the nostalgic about it, it's like, man, how can you not get the fans what they want? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Forget all the personal shit, how we may feel about each other, because I don't even think that's genuine, you know, not the negative part, you know what I'm saying, but when you have people on the outside, certain bloggers, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers who really slick trying to sabotage this shit, don't want to see the big timers come together, don't want to see the hot boys come together, you know what I'm saying, because they know if we come together, ain't no if when we come together, this shit gonna be something serious, just like we gave it to them then, we gonna give it to them again, you know what I'm saying, and man, when we put it together, dog, ain't no stopping, you know what I'm saying, and now we all have had experiences and have grown up and it went through so much shit dog like not only we gonna be blessed but everybody around each and every last one of us gonna be blessed bro and that's just major you know what i'm saying and i can't wait for it to happen dog i know it gonna happen without a shadow of doubt you know what i'm saying big timers on that stage hot boys on that motherfucking stage and we gonna get them what they've been waiting for dog a great motherfucking show you feel me you know i'm gonna have to salute you though turk because, you know, we talked about a year ago, man. And uh, you were like, hey, B, it's time for that hot boy shit again. Thanks. And I was like, hey, nigga, I feel you. You know, I know you went down there to New Orleans. You yeah. know, you had to start it from the hometown, yeah. you know. And you linked up with people to get the movement going. Yeah. However, a lot of stuff started to become controversial at the same time. So, yeah. you know, it was kind of negating all of the stuff that you was trying to do. Yeah. How do you feel a year later, though, man, after campaigning for this reunion? Because, see, at the time when you were screaming that to me, uh, Juve and Manny, they were doing a tiny desk, mm-hmm. traveling the world, getting money. Facts. Okay. Uh, BG, I think he was on his way home. Yeah. And he was rocking with Gucci Mane, mm-hmm. getting to the bag as well. Yeah. Uh, Lil Wayne... Was in his own zone. Exactly. Yeah, Being yeah. the GOAT as he always facts, is. Facts, facts. Uh, Baby and Slim were doing cash money, moving new artists. Cash money, rich gang shit. Come know? on, count more yeah. millions, okay? Facts. You were working on your documentary. Facts. And putting together a new album as well. Facts. So facts. that wasn't something that nobody was really looking forward to or even talking about at that damn time. Yeah. So when you jumped out there and you started kind of pushing the line for a hot boy reunion, you called hell, Turk. Yeah, I did, man. And um, it's crazy, but like when you have a vision and you believe in something, bro, you can't listen to the naysayers. Okay. Because what I learned, bro, a lot of people who have a poor mentality, they're going to always have the most advice. Mm. Anybody that got something going on is not going to have no advice for you at all because they too focused on what they got going on. And at the time, I believe that all my brothers, y'all know y'all hate me saying my brothers, but them is my brothers, and I'm only going to speak what I know, yeah. not what I feel. You know what I'm saying? These are facts. You know what I'm talking about? And um, this shit just came in together like it, like it, it's, came, it's coming together like it's going to, Come together, you did, yeah. and um, a lot of people, bro, really don't want it. People who not gonna be a part of it, they really like pushing it, pulling it apart. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's in their mind because I already seen it. And when when God give me a vision, bro, that's just what it is. And and this shit is more spiritual than anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the, the the situation that's going on with 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 me and my big bro, Jizzle, it's just a misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, when me and him get to talk, you know what I'm saying, and I agree 100,000% with Manny Fresh and what he said, the shit is silly. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no beef with Baby. I don't have no beef with BG. I don't have no beef with nobody. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, everything came together with me and Juve. It was a misunderstanding until we got an overstanding and we Mm -hmm. had a conversation with me and Manny Fresh. Motherfuckers even try to throw a cross with me and Manny Fresh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and Manny Fresh sat down, we talked. Bam, we been doing shows together. Me and Jew been doing shows together. And to be honest, bro, when we doing shows together, it's like fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even talking about none of the bullshit. Yeah. We ain't bringing none of the bullshit up, man. That shit, look, we come, do what we do. I got my people, he got his people, he got his people, and we go. Ain't nobody mm. booting each other up. We ain't 
disrespecting each other is nothing. We come get the back ends and we gone, dog. And that's mm. what it's about at the end of the day, giving the fans what they want. Mm. And I just see it happening, bro, very soon, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people that was pushing against it, uh, a lot of people who was trying to stir shit up, thinking that was going to put them in a position, they going to be the ones sitting back like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because to be honest, B, I tried to do what I'm doing with you with other people, mm. you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like I came to Atlanta and man, I'm about to hook up with Beehive Podcast and we about to push this narrative to try to make this thing come together so I can communicate with my brothers, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. communicate with my fans about you know updates as they come. Exactly. But when you do that, bro, a lot of people don't see the vision. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying, when you do it, you might have somebody else to step in and they'll get distracted. And I think that's what happened, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, to the point where the people that I was reaching out to, the people who I was trying to do what I'm doing with you, yeah, it's like they one-sided and they push the negativity now, bro. And it's like uh. when you're doing that, bro, like it's like what was your motive? What was your, you know, like what, what, what was you trying to do from the beginning? Like, was you with this or was you by yourself or was you for yourself, you feel me? And I think, you know, when it all said and done and it happened and it come like it be, bro, a lot of people going to regret what the fuck they did and what they doing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, standing on fate and, um, it is what it is. I feel like it's happening, dog. And shout out to Juve and Fresh once again, bro, because like I say, man, they see it, dog. They see it. And once we all see it, it going to be it, man. You know what I'm talking about? The only issue I had with what Manny Fresh was saying on the New York run that they were having is uh, he left out the big timers. Oh, you can't leave the big timers out. I want to know yeah. what's going on with the big timers yeah. too yeah. now, hey, okay? Because you know, they had hits too, hey, sir. The, the big timers didn't have the issues that the hot boys had. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And I think you know. So that's an automatic. It's it's automatically overstood. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, okay. The big timers did they did something in New Orleans, and you know, come on, bro, them the elders. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay, and I think, man, you know. Was understood, don't need to be explained. You okay. know what I'm talking about? They got an overstanding with each other. And when it all come together with these hot boys, you feel me? The big timers, it's no hot boys without the big timers. There's no big timers without the Ooh. hot boys. Like, it's cash money millionaires. <laughs> you feel me? Like, we did this shit together, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, like I say, I know there's a lot of people that try to separate this shit, but you can't have one without the other and I keep screaming that. Yeah. Because I mean that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker be like, man, you ass kissing, man, just leave it alone. Bitch, shut up. That's what the <laughs> fuck you do. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because I be getting sick and tired of these outside motherfuckers, yeah. dog. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If you ain't part of the motherfucker seven, yeah. and when I say seven, I mean slim from the top. Baby, Manny Fresh, Juvie, BG, Turk and Wayne. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. you ain't one of those people, bro, yeah. what you say, how you feel, don't matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, bro, like we going to be all right and this shit is going to take off like it needs to and everybody going to be sitting right, dog. Like, just watch, man. It, it, it's, it's happening, dog. It's bigger than us. It's, 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 it's God's will, dog. You feel me? If we get them big timers, though, man, I'm going to need somebody to go find Cadillac because that nigga verse on that million yeah, that dream. Yeah, Come on, man. We need to go hey, get that boy Lack. Lack. <laughs> hey, man, Y'all better man. find Lack. Hey, R.I.P. Uh, Stone, but that boy Lack, bro, like, to be honest, I feel like Lack should have been a big timer. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially on that um that the, the album with that millionaire dream. I yeah. got ten around my neck. I remember being at the studio. I remember being at the studio, and I wasn't no stunner. I couldn't stunt. And Lack was in that bitch, and they I was supposed to go do a verse, and I just <laughs> I, for real I, I just couldn't stunt like that just never was me. Oh my god! Man, Lack so came in that motherfucker man and laying it down. So yeah, bro, like Lack always been like he should have been. Lack should have been a big time. Oh my god! It should have it should have been Birdman Lack. And man, it's fresh, dog. I'm mean, gonna be real. Lack don't get a, 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 a enough, you know what I'm saying, recognition. Yeah. But um, man, lack a beast, dog. Yeah, that like, verse on that song is one of my favorite verses of yeah. all goddamn time. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, with that being said, Joseph, where mm -hmm. we at with it? Joseph, man, y'all already know, man. We got the fuck me up single going crazy right now. Is my number one song on my, you know, um. Apple Music, you know what I'm talking about, top songs. Yeah. 
Y'all made it that way, you know what I'm it's saying? Crazy. We got over 140 some thousand views on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's doing this thing on TikTok. I know TikTok, the new radio station. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I didn't expect the song to be doing what it's doing, but my friends always never shaded, bro. Like, they yeah. never let me down. You know what I'm saying? And I have to put this out for them, bro, and do it for them. Like, I don't do it for nobody else. Like, they won't let me do anything else, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The podcasting is cool to just keep them updated. Exactly. But I always want to give my fans what they want, bro, and they want that music. And most importantly, bro, they want us to come together. So on my end, I 100,000% agree with Manny Fresh and Juvie. Mm. This shit is silly. BG, Stunner, man, and, and um, Slim, you know, Wayne, Man, I got number love. It's number love for y'all, bro. I don't got no issue, no problem. I am not your opposition, but I might be your competition. <laughs> you feel me? And we always had friendly competition. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So they crazy. already know what that is, and I mean that in a in a in a in a um cash money millionaire way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's always gonna be friendly competition because I feel like I am that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's in a good way, bro. But that's what we that's what we come up off of. That what made all of us one of a kind. That's what made all of us liked by the people. You feel me? We all have our own fan base, but all of those fan bases together want us to come together like motherfucking um the Transformers, bro. That's right. You know, and we just gotta get the people what they want. It ain't about us, man. Like Fresh said, man, we're in the fourth quarter and a two minute a two minutes left with thirty down by thirty. Now. Down by 30 with two minutes, bro, that seemed impossible. You know what I'm saying? But with seven heads together, we could do anything, dog. So, you know, man, let's get this shit started, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't coming from me. It's coming from Manny Fresh. I just concur with what he's saying, dog. You dig? Y'all heard the man. Yeah. Get down with the movement. Be hot ready, yo, shawty. Mr. YNT Turk. Real life. I'll let y'all in a minute, man. Yeah. We gone.